So the long overdue probably videos on Wida. Try and get a bit more uptake in it for the Alliance and for yourselves because um, it's it's free stuff. Doing this first video on embers. Um, now I am by no means an embers expert, but in my point of view, Nexus War is a war game, and embers is probably one of the best events that they run. Now the reason why we're doing embers and I'm talking about Wida is because the reason why they have embers on a Saturday is because it ties into all out attack of Wida. So let me explain how important this can be in Wida. Look at the point scores today for the Alliance compared to everybody else and there is one person that is the main reason for this. This superstar here who absolutely loves kill events, loves embers and loves Witta. Look at the amount of scores Raz has for today and Witta. 2.2 billion, right? So let's see what that means. As you know, Witta is a week long event. It runs every week. And then it runs for, I believe, eight weeks in a season, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, right. So not only do you get rewards every day, from Wida, by doing whatever it is, and, and I'll be doing different videos on every day to show you how to prep for it, because Wida really just is being prepared and setting stuff up um, to collect then with the, with um, with your bonuses on. Um, so this is the season ranking at the minute, and to be fair, actually I'm quite surprised Raz is down in sixth. Um, I think he missed a couple of last week's embers. But I am telling you now, by the end of this, Raz is going to be up there in the top one, two, three. And he makes the majority of his points from uh, Ambers on a Saturday. Now, he's lucky enough and he's dedicated enough that he normally gets on all three Ambers. <sighs> because I'm old and I go to bed early. <laughs> um, I really only get this one, three o'clock on a Saturday, three o'clock UTC. So um, 1500 UTC is the one that I'm usually on. Um, so yeah. So that's how it ties into that and it'll it'll get you all your boxes for today, even by jumping on. And like I said, Nexus War is a war game and Ambers is all about war. So as you'll see here, you'll see the icon here uh, as the Ambers is going on. So there's a few things you probably should do before you jump in the Ambers. First one is check to make sure you have nothing on your wall because if you go in the Ambers and as soon as your bubble pops, Obviously, when you have troops on your wall, somebody can wipe those all out on you very handy. Um, because there will be guys in here that are bigger than you, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, you're probably gonna get slapped a couple of times. Um, but it's good fun, enjoy it. Um, it is what it is, okay. So, the other thing you want to make sure you have on is your buffs, so your attack and your defend buffs. Um, I have mine on anyway because I was doing a bit of points training and stuff earlier on. Um, so yeah, so if you don't know where they are, they're in your items. And then in buffs, and then that's obviously your attack and your defend buffs, and you put those on. They last for 12 hours. You can get 24 hour ones too, but they normally come in packs and stuff like that. Okay, so you want them on because you want to be as strong as you can be when you win the embers. Okay, so while embers is on, so when the rounds open, it opens for two hours, and um, there is three different times. I think one's like one o'clock in the morning, so 0 100 hours UTC, um, 1500 hours UTC, and I believe it's. 2000 or 2100 this evening as well there's another round but like it, it, it constantly pops up and tells you in game when it's happening so let's have a look at ambers so obviously you click on ambers the first time you join is free um and then i believe it's a thousand talic or two thousand talic every time you want to enter after that okay so hit on the wee free button it'll give you these are the rules of embers all right read them if you want jump in it's my six week second just to load in. There we go. So we're moving to the world now. So Ambers is, is set on a, a completely separate map, okay? So you'll see when you first join, you have a shield on, okay? Um, and then obviously there's loads of different other cities sitting about people who want to join in and have fun and fight, okay? So you'll see here on the left hand side at the bottom, there's other ways to get points as well. Um, so you get five battles in total, four victories in total obtain flaring castle so if that happens to come up while i'm doing the video i'll show you what the flaring castle is but basically it's just a wee um 
building on the map and you have to hold it for a certain amount of time and then you get points for it okay and then obtain bounty rewards so you'll see here in the right hand side these are bounty so these are people that have killed people so far and if you then kill them and uh, the, you'll take points off them as well then so you get extra points for that so what you want to do first before you do any fighting is go to Wida for those of you that don't know you have the buff cards up here um, if you have a load of orange you can exchange them for gold okay so I have 8 orange and I can exchange them for 2 gold but I'm going to stick the 100% buff on okay and that lasts for 30 minutes all right, I'm going to have to start having a look about to see if there's anybody that I want to join in the fun with. Um, sometimes the screen can be a wee bit glitchy. It can be a wee bit slow to show and um, sometimes people's cities just disappear and stuff. But yeah, um, on the whole, it is actually a good event. Um, so there's me. Who have I got here beside me? Oh, that looks like somebody that spent a lot of money. Yeah. So, BDE Tias, um, is probably sort of on the same level as me, maybe we have a batter, and play this guy here, okay, so we'll show you an attack anyway. Um, now, what happens a lot in Embers is the same as what people have done with me, or I have done, is take their, take their Titans off their wall, okay, but when you're as far away from me as I am, a lot of people will TP in beside you and hit you. Um, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. When you're this far away, what this sometimes does is allow the other guy to get stuff onto his wall. Um, and or take it off the wall if you're too strong. So you don't really want to give them as much time, probably, to think about how they're going to defend for you. Because it can get a bit frantic in here at times. So obviously I sent my infantry titan up there to, to hit his city. Like I said, you sometimes you a bit glory. Now he has no titans on his wall. That's why there's blank in there. But, and he's also then thought, oh, I don't want to be fighting him too much. So he's disappeared. So you'll see then you get the battle report. And yeah, look, he had nothing on his wall. Now he does happen to have origin in a city, which is a bit silly when you're in, um, in a fight in a game. So yeah, but anyway, let's have a wee look about, see if we can find somebody else. We'll maybe take somebody then that has... Oh, we're not going to be hitting him because he's going to beat me. <laughs> um, so we go in here and we'll see if there is somebody handy enough that has a bit of a thing, has a has a bounty on them. Um, so let's see. D -d 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 code. Somebody else is probably going to hit him before I get over there. But yeah, I mean, things like this where there's a couple of people in the same area sometimes is, is good. So I'll show you how to teleport in. So if you teleport in, you get the green mark. Hit your triangle and automatically hit on their city and attack. And as soon as you land, your Titan will send straight to their city. Okay. So that's how you do like a kind of sneak attack type thing. And you'll see there I get the bounty rewards for taking his um his thing off. Alright. So as you'll see, there's the Razzle Dazzle himself out killing people. Killing dead things, as usual. Um yeah. So again. I mean, you just kind of have to hit and hope sometimes that somebody has something in their city or on their wall. Um, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you won't. As you've seen that guy there tele teleported away. So if you have a gold teleport, you can teleport away before somebody hits you. Um, you can't use randoms to teleport when somebody is attacking you. But you can use um, gold. Gold teleports, right. Let's be incredibly brave and stick some titans on our wall in the hope that somebody less better than me attacks um so yeah let's see if that guy happened to have anything on the wall oh so he's that Sheehan code is that him no it is not him so we got Sheehan code so you see from the battle report there we got like five million off Sheehan code before he disappeared damn soul city he has stuff on his wall too so Unfortunately, this poor wee lad's going to get another tap. And we have somebody attacking us, and this is... Oh, somebody not very strong is attacking me, so... He's probably going to get beaten. He probably thought I didn't have any Titans on the wall. And he's tried to attack me to take my... My bounty. Um, and kill my idols. Um, so that's another thing too. Obviously, if somebody has no Titans on the wall, then... 
yeah, they kill all your idols or, or put your idols in the hospital, okay? What you also need to be careful of as well is as you go, you need to keep healing, okay? Um, as you'll see, I'm quite, I've been a bit too busy talking. Um, so yeah, uh, so yeah, you need, it is quite, you know, you need to sort of concentrate on it. I know I'm talking to you guys at the same time here, but it is something that you really kind of need to pay a bit of attention to or you will um, get slapped. So there's a guy that attacked me, look. Um, so I get defensive points in as well. Um, that guy keeps leaving stuff on his wall, which is a bit silly when you've that sort of power again, okay? So as you'll see, that was what, like three, four, five attacks maybe tops. Um, and we go into Witta and we'll see, look, I have all nine boxes and I'm sitting second in Witta. I mean, I'm never gonna beat Raz anyway. Because he's a 2.5 billion already and he's in this round. Um, so yeah. But that, that kind of is how easy it is so you can fill your boxes. And there'll always be somebody lower than you that you can fight. And they're around the same power as you that you can fight. Um, obviously you know you match up tanks against infantry. Um, artillery against tanks. And so on and so forth. Um, so yeah I mean. It's actually pretty empty compared to usual, to be honest. There's Razzle Dazzle doing a bit of damage down here. So he's actually completely wiped this guy out. So he's got an orange shield. So this poor guy is completely wiped, thanks to Razzle Dazzle. Um, he won't appreciate me popping in there beside him and hitting those guys. Because uh, <laughs> he obviously wants the points. But yeah. Um, again, if you see one of your mates, uh, and there is a couple of people packing in on him, um, you know, be nice, jump over, give him a hand. Um, what you can do is also, same as on the map, you can put your Titan into anybody that's in your alliance's city as well. Um, I could done a brilliant one one time where he brought his farm along and set his main, because we were up against a load of lower rank um, alliances. So he brought his farm along with his main and put his, put his farm out in the middle and put his, there he is actually, um, put his main in his farm and a load of people tried to slap it and he made a fortune of points. Um, yeah, so there's wee things like that you can try and do as well and just have a bit of crack. Um, there's another guy with the, oh it's Roth. I was going to say I had a bounty on him. I mean, Ragnarok looks like a pretty decent guy there, always away. Um, so yeah. Where are we? Who have we got here? That's that same guy. I don't. I, I don't particularly like hitting the same people over and over again. Um, yeah, I'm too soft probably for for embers to be honest. Well, that'll give you an idea of how it goes about anyway, because we could be here all day waiting for somebody else to you know to potentially come and come and fight properly. Um, so yeah, hopefully that helps, guys, and gives you the confidence to, to just give it a go. I mean, it's a war game at the end of the day, and this is the best place to learn how to fight because, uh, yeah, you have to fight. It's a map where everybody's in there to fight and get points. So, hope that helps, guys. Um, again, ties into Witta. You get your Witta boxes, more Witta points. And let's get a few more Razzes on the board, 2.5 billion in, in one day. We'll certainly kick him up the season rankings as well. So, thanks for watching, guys, if you did, and I hope it helped.